Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm coming at you with my first kind of technical tutorial. Um, and that's going to be loading repeaters in the Baofeng USB-5R. So, uh, this actually, for any Baofeng handheld radio, this tutorial is going to work with because they all actually contain the same software. I'm using the Baofeng F8HP. Um, and this is one of the first things that you want to do once you get your radio, so I figured I might as well start with this. So I'm going to put this website in the description, but it's going to be repeaterbook.com. This is going to be your go-to resource. So the, the idea of repeaters basically is you put in the repeater as a channel on your radio. Once you, tr It's a different transmit and a different receive frequency. That way you transmit to the uh, repeater and it transmits your voice within so many um, miles and it's much more than what you would probably be able to use on a handheld radio or a mobile. Um, you also, anybody transmitting to it, it receives. So this can be two different frequencies. And I'm going to show you guys what, exactly what that looks like. So the first thing you want to do is find a repeater within the range of your radio that you can receive or transmit to. So I'm going to go to this website here, and I'm in North America, so I'm going to hit the North American Repeaters link here. And when I find my state, which is Kentucky, let's see... Kentucky. Now I live in the city of Richmond and just for tutorial sake that's what we're going to use. So you scroll down here and it's going to have all the different counties. Um, so like I said I live in Richmond so naturally I'm going to check out the Richmond repeaters. Now this is going to list certain repeaters here and uh, what you want to pay attention to is uh, the frequency and the tone in. So it's also they got the location and they, uh, sometimes they'll have who owns it and this and that. But uh, when you pick a repeater, you want to make sure that it's a repeater that your radio has um, a frequency set for. I mean, a uh, it's within the radio's frequency range. Uh, as for the tone in, uh, the way this works is your radio will, will like um, transmit a certain tone and that's going to allow the repeater to start picking it up. And that's for the repeater to kind of filter out the trash. Um, different uh, trash frequencies and radio waves coming through that doesn't need to be retransmitted. Uh, and your radio also has to support it. Now if you're using the Baofeng, then if it has a numeral, then it's usually okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pick out uh, the second one here. So you click on the frequency of the repeater, and what you want to pay attention to is your downlink, your uplink, your offset, and your uplink tone. So, uh, we're going to move on to the radio in just a moment, but your downlink is going to be um, what your transmitter is, or what your receiver is receiving on. The uplink is what's going to be your transmitter and radio, what you're transmitting on. The offset is actually the uh, distance between the repeater's up, uplink and downlink, and your uplink tone is going to be that tone that I mentioned before that you need um, to transmit along with your message in order for the repeater to actually pick up your message. So uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and move on to the radio. And the first thing uh, you want to do, obviously, is cut your radio on. And you're going to see one or two things here below your battery meter, and it's either going to be a number or nothing. If you see a number, that means you're in channel mode, and we want to switch to frequency mode. So you're going to hit the v VFO button. Now the channel should go away and that means we're in frequency mode. You'll notice that there's a top line and a bottom line. You want to make sure that the arrow is on the top line at all times when configuring the radio. You can switch between the two by hitting the AB button. So now that we're at the, uh, the top line, the first thing that we want to do is type in that downlink frequency that we uh, noted on repeater book. And that's pretty simple. All you have to do is just type it in. In our case it's 146 eight six five so one four six let to get this out to get the eight eight six five so already receiving on it but we don't that this ignore that so now we're going to hit the um the menu button and we want to store this as our transmitting memory so the first thing that we want to do is go, you can use the up and down keys to scroll through the menu items or you can type in a number. For tutorial's sake, I'm just going to use the um, 
the buttons here. So we're looking for offset first. Normally you would hit menu. Notice our offset was 0.6 uh, megahertz. So you would type in 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0. Then you, once you edit a menu item, hit menu, and the arrow should switch to the top, and that means that we have successfully changed it. Now you scroll one time from the repeater offset, and you're going to come to menu item 95. And you'll notice that when we're looking at our offset, it's either a plus or a minus. And this is where that gets changed. So go ahead and hit menu. In my case, a minus is already there. If it was a plus, you would hit the plus sign, uh, if, uh, and so on. And then you hit menu to save. I'm going to go up again. And you see it says memory channel. This is where we store our channel into memory. And we're going to store both these transmit and receive frequencies. So you hit menu to change the item, and then you type in the, the channel number that you would like to store it into. In this case, um, I'm going to store mine in 129. Okay, we'll store it in 123. So, once you're, uh, you type in your channel number, you hit menu again, and it saves that. Now, if, you've changed, if you haven't changed your default settings on your radio, it's talking to you every action, and it should say uh, receiving memory. And that just means that we stored receiving memory into channel um, 123. So hit exit to go back to the frequency, um, and now you're going to input the transmit frequency. Now, remember from repeater book, the transmit frequency is 146.265. So I'm going to type in 14. Six, two, six, five. Now, we go to our menu. And remember where you're talking about that tone that needs to be transmitted with our uh, message in order for the repeater to um, listen to us? This is where that comes into play. Now, I think it's menu item 13. Yes. So once you get to menu item 13, you're going to hit menu to change it. And then you're just going to type in the tone that we got from our repeater book, which in our case is 192. Point eight. Then you're going to hit menu again to save that. Once you've saved it, you're going to go up. And you're going to hit menu on memory channel. And we want to store that transmit frequency in the same channel as our receive frequency. So we're going to hit menu again and it's going to save it. Now our transmit and our receive is stored in the same channel and we can now switch to channel mode by hitting the VFO button. So um, now we just type in the channel number 123 and once you do that make sure your arrow is at the top part. Once again if it's not you can hit A and B to switch between the two and you should receive, uh, see the receive frequency. Now if we hit the transmit button, it's actually going to uh, change momentarily to our transmit frequency. And we're just going to do this just to test. And there you go. You heard the uh, repeater feedback. And that's how you guys program the Baofeng uh, radio with a repeater. So once, uh, as long as you're on channel 123, anybody transmitting on the receiver uh, repeater, you're going to receive. And every time you transmit, <clears throat> you're going to transmit as well. So if you guys like this tutorial, make sure to uh, let me know. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll be sure to answer them. And subscribe.